Hey YouTube, welcome to day five of my 14 day challenge. So today I've got a quick video for Valentine's Day ideas. So if you're kind of racking your brain, trying to think of some ideas for Valentine's Day, this will maybe get your juices flowing. One of the techniques I like to use in Photoshop, and you can do this technique in Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Designer, just Google what I'm gonna you know, show you for your individual software program to learn how to do it. But it's called the clipping mask. And a clipping mask technique just simply takes an image, it overlays it on top of a shape, and so the image fits nicely inside of the shape. So for Valentine's Day, you might wanna do that with a heart shape. So I created a dolphin pattern. We're sticking with the dolphin theme here. Uh, I did this actually in Illustrator, but I'm not gonna take time to show all that because quite honestly, I found most people don't have or want to buy Illustrator in my audience. So no point in wasting time on that. Um, but it's easier to do stuff like this in Illustrator and Illustrator also has a pattern maker as well. But you can also do it in Photoshop with something like a shape tool. So you come over here to the shapes tool, come up here, choose your shape, and then just click and drag, you know, and make your shapes and change the colors and all that. Similar to what you saw me doing in a recent video. So I exported this as a PNG file when I was done, saved it as a PNG file. And so you can come over here to the move tool here in Photoshop and click and drag up to your tab. And we're just gonna overlay this on top of my heart. I wanna just make sure that it's covered. So it's a good idea to make your pattern about the same size as whatever your template is for merge or spreadsheet or whatever you're doing. Now, when you've got everything covered, you wanna go to your layers window, which is window layers if you don't see it, and you wanna make sure you see the pattern on top of the shape, very important, otherwise it's not gonna work. All you do is right click and choose create clipping mask, and boom. Now, what I would probably do if I was doing this, you know, for real, I would have filled up the pattern a little bit more. It's not, it's a lot of space in there and you can make this look really, really cool if you do a lot with it. And I probably would have made it red so it would look more Valentine's-y. <laughs> but you guys get the point. I was just trying to, to illustrate the concept. But if you're going to do this, the key is to find niches that are not like overdone. I'm sure some of the common niches have already been uh, done to death with this idea. But think of obscure professions, think of obscure um, hobbies and things like that, and have fun with this. I haven't sold too many Valentine's Day shirts yet, maybe 10. Things have been kind of slow right now with me for merch, but I'm not worried about it, it's gonna pick up. So I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I will see you in day six.